Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Joey Logano's Las Vegas win from 2019. As always, take a quick look at the box. This is an Elite, so you've got your generic Elite box. Got the black honeycomb pattern, the chrome foil Elite logo, Lionel Racing. Same stuff down the side. They made a total of 183. Higher numbers for an Elite. Standard finish, RCCA Elite. Got the features of the die cast on the back of the box. 2019 RCCA Elite, and you of course have your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. But now let's get down to the car itself. It finally happened. He finally got a win in something that's not the yellow and red shell Pennzoil scallop car. It took 22 races, or wins, well I guess the first two were technically Home Depot wins, so that doesn't count, so it took like 20 races, <laughs> but it finally happened. And what better way for it to happen than winning the special Pennzoil paint scheme in the Pennzoil 400. Everything about this win is just amazing. <laughs> Hopefully this, you know, continues now. Hopefully you can maybe get a win for AAA or Auto Trader or something now. This paint scheme has lasted three years now. This paint scheme first debuted in 2017. I mean, it's kind of similar to the 2016 one, but it is a completely different design. But as far as the yellow on yellow goes, it's basically the same as 20, uh, 2016. <laughs> but as far as this exact design, this has only been the last three years because 2016 was a little bit different. He had a chance to sweep Las Vegas this year in this car and get like give us a playoff race version of this car. But then Daniel Suarez ran out of talent again and kind of screwed that out of the way. <sighs> Daniel Suarez has really been... I don't know. I've, I've lost all interest and all just care and all respect for Daniel Suarez lately. He's just been like, he's just not good and he's just been going ape shit lately. Like Darlington, he, you know, wrecks Ryan Newman. Then he wrecks somebody late at Indianapolis. Then he wrecks the kind of Las Vegas and just stop. <laughs> I don't know. That's rain for another day. Why don't we get down to sponsors? On the hood, you have Pennzoil. You got Ford Mustang, number 22. Down the side, you got Pennzoil. You got Auto Trader and Snap On back there. In front of the rear wheel, you got AAA and Discount Tire. On the C post, you got AutoZone and SKF. And on the B post, you got Ford, DXC Technology, PPG, Mazak, Coca Cola, and Bosch. This does have the NASCAR Heat contingency logo. It also does have a Hall of Fame logo for. I forget who was that. I honestly can't remember who that was. <laughs> Unless it's Roger Penske, but that wouldn't make sense because he had the whole deck lid for that. I don't know. Somebody will tell me in the comments who that is. I completely forgot. On the back, you got Pennzoil, number 22 Ford. You got 22 Crew and a Police logo. That's something that gets, you know, overlooked with Logano is that a lot of races during the year, he has, like, local police badges on the back of his car. He has one this weekend at the Roval, too. It's right, like, there. Not in the back for some reason. Though I do like lately on Logano's cars, he's had a Money Lion logo right there. It's always bugged me how he doesn't have a Money Lion logo on his car, so it's kind of cool they added that. Hopefully that's on the diecast next year. Anyways, on the deck lid you got Jiffy Lube, something that Lionel always skips on diecast, so I guess winning's one way to get it on the deck lid. And this is number 28. Got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Let's take a look under the hood, which of course does not want to open as usual. I think it's stuck down there. Guess we're not opening the hood. Whatever. Deck lid, of course, does open. You got your typical fuel cell and such back there. Roof flaps, of course, do open. And there is the underside of the car if you want to see that. But now let's get down to damage. If you're looking for full-on race win damage, this definitely is not the car for you. But if you're a person that likes really dirty race wins, then this is definitely for you because as you can see... This thing looks beautiful with all that dirt and rubber buildup and grime on the front. I quite like to get some race versions like this that are, you know, kind of clean, but dirty. <laughs> I mean, clean as far as damage goes, but dirty. <laughs> like, you know, every race one's not going to be, like, piled high with confetti, both rear tires shredded, a bunch of dings and, you know, dirt marks and tire marks and everything down the side. Like, this is kind of just more of a everyday race one. So if it has confetti, you, you know... It has confetti, so if you like confetti, this is definitely another car for you, but whatever. Like I said, I love that dirt, and I cannot stop staring at that dirt. You see down the right side, there's a little bit of a white mark around the front wheel. 
And that was found he was, you know, doing a burnout through the Penzoil logo in the grass. See, the right side is basically just dirty. Again, got some rubber buildup around the right rear wheel well. The back end is dirty and marked up a little bit. Looks like he did get hit a few times, especially right there. I forget it did Kozlowski actually Kozlowski did kind of on the very last lap he tried to dive bomb it didn't work and he slid right up and like very almost maybe caught that piece so maybe that's what that's from you see he does have a little mark right there from looks like where maybe when he did his burnout that maybe some of the tires shredded a little bit but the tires not shredded so I don't know but that looks like almost as if it's just like you know the tire shredded and just you know went along the fender without actually ripping it over but I don't know got more tire build up right there and the rest of it is just dirty. A lot of the lettering is rubbed off most of the tires too for some reason. Like I said, the confetti is also fun just for the fact that since it was the Penzo 400, this is Pennzoil color confetti on the Pennzoil car. <laughs> so that is really cool. Although for some reason Lionel made it kind of strange because as you can see, the yellow of the confetti changes shades when it's on the yellow of the Pennzoil car versus the windshield. I don't know if that's coming across on camera, but the car, the confetti on the car is a little bit too light yellow. Which is weird, but whatever. <laughs> this, of course, does come with a few things. You, of course, have your race winner certificate of authenticity elite crap. You've got your race winner stack card. If you want to read that. And you, of course, have your little winner sticker. If you want this card as a brand new release, you can get it right now. I would not be surprised if this thing got rare since, you know, it's been all these years and he's finally only for the first time won in something that's not the yellow and red scallop car. <laughs> so I'm sure this one will be... <coughs> Jeez, <laughs> I'm choking up just thinking about the beauty of this car. <laughs> but yeah, I think this one could get rare because it does seem to be very popular right now. There's a lot of people that don't even like Logano that are buying this car right now, so... I would say it's definitely worth picking up. Like I said, this is definitely one of those like just really just nice race versions. Not crazily damaged. You can still see the paint scheme. You can still see the sponsors. But just a beautiful, beautiful race win. But I think it trans all to say. This has been a review of Joey Logano's Las Vegas win from 2019. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.